This episode is brought to you by Oracle. AI may be important, but it needs a lot of processing speed, and that gets expensive fast. Upgrade to the next generation of the cloud, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI. OCI is the single platform for your infrastructure, database, application development, and AI needs. Do more and spend less, like Uber, 8x8, and Databricks Mosaic. Take a free test drive at oracle.com slash enhance. Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just wanted to start off with letting you know that we just opened a Patreon account. That is at patreon.com slash audiobook connection podcast. And if you are finding that this podcast provides value to you and you would like to support it in a small way with a small monthly donation, we would so appreciate that. And it will really help us to be able to continue to provide this ongoing content. So today we are going to focus on audiobook production for publishers. And if you are an indie author, someone who has established your own imprint, even if these are all your own titles, if you're asking yourself, do I qualify as a publisher? The answer is possibly so. And some of these questions may be helpful to you that are some of these topics that we're going to talk about for publishers. There are some different factors that publishers are dealing with. And so I wanted to take an episode here to be able to address some of those issues. So let's jump in. What are some of the things to consider in finding your audiobook solution for your press or your publishing company? As you are probably aware, the trend for growth in the audiobook industry is dramatic and significant, and it really makes sense for publishers to be able to stay relevant and participate in that growth trend. Now, unlike an indie author who is publishing only their own titles, publishers are obviously representing other authors and they have a business model that typically means that they are they are gathering royalties from many different sources and then distributing those royalties out to authors. So that will be a part of the discussion is how that would work and the kinds of decisions that are going to go into some specifics around the decision making and the potential path for you to be able to succeed in that process and to be able to come out ahead, have an experience where you're actually getting financial benefit. It's not only for impact and distribution and visibility, but you're also having that good decision-making around your business financial bottom line, both for you and for your authors. So that will be a part of the discussion, but it's not the entire discussion. There are other factors that we are going to discuss. First of all, just to give you an idea, I've talked with a lot of different publishers and we work with many different publishers. I have some information that I have gathered, questions that I have gathered from these publishers as they approach the audiobook production question and are looking for a solution that's going to work for their situation. And I'm going to start off with just listing a few of the different ways that I have seen that publishers are making an attempt, or not, to step into the audiobook world. So first of all, one approach is that I have heard is, oh, well, we are doing it ourselves, but we don't really know what we're doing. Okay, that's one approach. Just give it a go and hope. 
and try to figure it out. Another is trying to sell the audiobook rights to license out the audiobook rights, even though they retain the rights for the print and ebook editions. Now, that's all going to be dependent on somebody, another company, audiobook publishing company, that wants to secure those rights and is willing to pay for them. Some just don't know where to start, and so they don't. They just don't start at all. They put it off. And in putting it off, they're also putting off any benefits that they might reap from stepping into that. And some just have too many questions about budget and where the, whether the investment will be worth it. And again, so they either hold off or many publishers right at this point are in that process of trying to figure this out, which is why I thought, well, I'll do a podcast episode and hopefully this information and this thought process uh, will be helpful to you in your own process of making that decision. There are also going to be questions about costs and processes. So I'll deal somewhat with that. And because cost is always getting into such specifics around the different variables that it's almost impossible to say, oh, it will cost this much to be able to do any given book. And that particular book may not be pertinent to you. And it's just yeah, so I'm not going to go too far down that path, but I will talk about some generalities. Okay, let's start with the scenario of doing it yourself, but not really being sure what you're doing. Okay, here are some of the problems with that. Obviously, I think it's obvious that when you're trying to do something and you're uncertain about what you're doing, you don't have perhaps the guidance that you need to be able to do it well you are much more likely to spend a lot more money, time, energy to get the job done and to fix all the problems that happen along the way. Because if you're new to something as complex as the audiobook industry, you are almost certainly going to be stumbling and that there will be mistakes made. Another issue around that that I think is really critical and that most people don't talk about, and that is the benefits of having someone who is experienced with pre-production and giving some guidance in terms of what you can do to leverage that audiobook so that you are going to have greater success once it is completed. Another issue is around casting, which is also a part of pre-production, but different from the manuscript preparation that I just referred to. Casting is, it's a skill, and it's not a skill that everybody has. And so when you're trying to do something that you've never done before, then you're not going to have that base of experience and expertise established to where you really know what you're listening for in a voice. Many people, most people who are not in the industry seem to think that just the tonal quality of somebody's voice is what would make them a great audiobook narrator or not. Somebody may have a rough, gravelly voice, and they think, oh, well, that wouldn't be a good voice. Or they might have a really smooth, deep voice, and, and maybe that would make them a good narrator. But actually, neither of those are really the qualities that impact whether or not you're a great storyteller. And it is that quality, the storytelling quality, that is most critical to the success of an audiobook. Let's say you've got a story and it's the main character is an old grizzled cowboy. Well, that gravelly voice would be perfect for that kind of character. Just to give some perspective on that in terms of that storytelling quality. And then how do we define what that is? Well, that is not an objective kind of definition that's easy to give. There is... There is a subjective quality to it, and different people will have different opinions. But the main thing is 
that the storyteller is going to be able to step into the shoes of the author, if you will, step into the shoes of each character, and to be able to bring that to the listener in a natural, engaging delivery performance where the listener then doesn't get distracted by different qualities of the voice or different kinds of awkwardnesses, I will say, (laughs) in the storytelling quality. Again, it's hard to really articulate what that storytelling quality needs to be. But if you start listening, there are a lot of author-narrated projects, actually, especially in that realm, where authors who are not experienced narrators are recording their own books. And while there are some authors that do record well, typically it is because they have put in the extra expense of having a director working with them throughout the recording session, which is a much more expensive process. It's also great if you can do it, if you can afford it, but it is it, it does add to the cost. The kinds of qualities that sometimes you will hear are a kind of monotone quality, and maybe not flat out, just flat, but you get a little tired of it after a while. After, say, 15 minutes, then you want to listen to something else that's a little more engaging. It could be that they occasionally phrase a sentence in a way that your ear stumbles over because it doesn't quite make sense that way. Whereas if they'd stressed a different word, say if you're comparing one thing to another thing, just things like that, that that really make a big difference. Because one of the biggest reasons why anyone will choose a particular audiobook to listen to next over a different one is because someone loved it so much that they told you that, oh, you've got to listen to this one. It's really great. Great narrator. Great author. That's the kind of experience that we want. Really positive word of mouth. Okay. So those are just some of the things. You can also run into issues of not getting things in place, whereas like with your contracts with the narrators, if you're you're really good at contracts in your business, then this might be less of an issue. And maybe you have an attorney that works with your publishing company. Hopefully you do, where they can look that over. But if they're not experienced in the realm of audiobooks, they might also not know to include certain things. They are likely to be aware of things like that you want a work for hire kind of contract, but they may not be thinking about things like, well, what about pickups? How many rounds of pickups do you get? What kinds of things are eligible for pickups? Is the narrator basically on a tether and tied to a certain payment, regardless of how many times you might ask them to redo a certain thing? So there are several things that kind of go deeper in that contract realm. That's just an example of the administrative side of things where having a production company that knows what they're doing, knows how to work with narrators, with audio engineers, with submissions team, so that all of that process is smooth, will save you a tremendous amount of time, energy, money, and stress. Let's take a short pause and we'll come back and talk more about audiobook production questions and process for publishers. Would you like to earn more from your audiobook sales? If you're an author with an audiobook, you may have noticed that royalties from Audible especially and other platforms as well are frankly kind of pathetically low, disappointingly low and unfairly low considering what it cost you in effort and resources to create it. How is it the retailers are the ones making all the money off your work and investment? As someone who started in the audiobook industry in 1981, I've found it frustrating that authors keep getting shortchanged. 
the good news is that Pro Audio Voices just launched Amplify Audiobooks, a direct sale audiobook platform for authors that puts you back in the driver's seat. Earn 65% of the gross sales price that you set. Compare that to the percentage of the percentage that retailers give. Run promotions on schedule whenever you want. Create coupon codes. Build community with your customers since you'll know who they are and how to contact them. Work with a caring, responsive, supportive team to help you succeed all along the way. Get help with marketing. Get paid weekly. We're helping audiobook authors who are frustrated by painfully low royalties and the barriers that prevent them from managing their own products and customers. Amplify Audiobooks is a direct sale platform that enables authors to earn much higher royalties and have way more control. We're disrupting the audiobook industry by putting authors first. Get started today at proaudiovoices.app or go to proaudiovoices.com and click on the distribution amplify link. Join the movement. Okay, so let's move on now to the option to sell the audiobook rights or to license those out to an audiobook publishing company. That certainly is an option, and I am not very knowledgeable in that realm, so I'm not going to pretend that I am. I will just say that one of the things that you might want to consider is that once you sell off those audiobook rights— uh, and perhaps you retain a percentage that is going to depend on the contract that you have. That much I know. But once you do that, then that's really out of your hands in terms of potential profit that you could be receiving. And I'm going to get a little more into potential profit further into this episode. But while it would be very tempting to, and if it's possible, to sell the audiobook rights and just turn it out over to somebody else to manage and deal with, there are now, due to the launch of Amplify Audiobooks, there are ways that you as publisher can make a whole lot more money. Since you're already marketing the book and the ebook already, why lose out on the audiobook revenue potential since now you have a way to earn even more than any other format from your audiobook? I'm coming back to tell you more about that, so hang in there. Related to that, I think I would say, is the idea of just, if you don't know where to start, you just don't. You just put it off. That is really not your best option because you're missing out. And you're not just missing out for yourself as a publisher. You're missing out for your authors. There are a growing number of people and already large number of people that just don't read text anymore in that in terms of print books or ebooks they want to consume content by audiobooks and you are not making your material available to that large segment of the audience the other obstacle that i mentioned about they just have too many questions about budget and will the investment be worth it this is where I'm going to tie all these together and really bring it out for you in a bigger way as to the potential and what you can do to really make it worth it. And then I'm going to come back and circle back around to talk about what that potential cost might be for a publisher and what some ways to proceed with your clients. Okay, so is the investment worth it. Here's the key. Amplify audiobooks. That is actually the key to making the investment worth it. Why? Because it is the only equitable audiobook platform. If you focus on driving sales through Audible, because they're the biggest, then you're driving them to the place you have the lowest profit you're going to earn less from a sale on Audible than from anywhere else. And yet, that is what most people 
automatically do. If that's what you're doing as a publisher, then this is your opportunity to rethink that approach. Let me give you one brief, quick example. For an audiobook sale through Audible, at $14.95, which is equivalent to the cost of an audiobook credit, you would earn on Audible, depending on which version, which program they sell it through, about $2.62 or less, usually less. They have the option to give it away for free as a teaser and not pay you anything. You should just be aware of that. However, that very same audiobook where you control the price on Amplify Audiobooks, you would earn $9.72. That is at least $7.10 difference per sale. So you can imagine how quickly that adds up. What Amplify Audiobooks has done essentially is to create a platform where as the publisher or as the audiobook author who is on that platform, that you have direct sale control. In other words, you can completely control your price. You can schedule a promotion. You can do discount codes. You get your customer information so you know who bought your audiobook. All this and you earn 65% of the gross price that you set. Or if you choose to put it on sale, it would be 65% of whatever it sells for. But again, you're controlling that price, and you can't do that on any of the other retail or library platforms. That's it. You have no say. On Amplify Audiobooks, you have complete control. Everywhere else, you have no control. So what does that do to the question then of, is the audiobook worth the investment? It now takes that very question and shakes it up and you have a different potential answer. Because if you are relying entirely on Audible to make that investment worth it, that's going to be hard. If you are relying on Amplify Audiobooks, that's going to be easy. Okay, now we're going to circle back to the question of costs and process. Just We're going to touch on this briefly because there are so many variables in terms of cost and all of that. But let's focus in because most publishers are really just looking for a single narrator, no music or sound effects, or if any music, then just opening and closing credits. Pretty simple, straightforward. The main thing is getting a quality voiceover narrator and then also having a process that is going to make it a simple process for you as the publisher. You really want to be able to turn it over to a trusted team, kind of like your audiobook department, right? So you don't have to worry about it. You are in charge of selecting which titles are going to be produced into audio and providing the details that are necessary to make that happen and then you let your audiobook team go for it. There is, of course, a review process that is important, and that is typically turned over to the author to do the review. The bulk of the work is not in your hands. You already have lots keeping you busy, I'm sure. There is a a lot to the publishing process. We all know that. So why not bring in an audiobook partner that is going to not add to your plate, but will instead take things off of your plate and meanwhile provide a way for you to increase the revenue from each book that you turn over to your audiobook department. And in terms of costs, that's the other big question. Some typical rates would probably land somewhere in the $350 to $700 per finished hour range, with a finished hour running somewhere between about 7,500 to 9,000 words. So you can translate that into word count, which is going to be easier for you. And 
most production companies will base everything on a per finished hour rate. That cost basis can be problematic because you don't know going into the project what it will actually cost. And a narrator that slows down partway through is going to change and increase your cost. And then you don't really have control over that. So that can be frustrating and can potentially throw you over your budget. However, at least at Pro Audio Voices, we offer a a word count basis so that you can go into a project knowing exactly what it will cost. The other thing to consider, and we work with many smaller publishers who will share the cost with their authors, is to create some kind of workable split. So your authors are helping you cover the cost if that works in your business model. It's going to depend on you as the publisher and what kind of agreements you already have in place with your authors. But if you don't have an audiobook agreement in place yet, you could establish something for authors who are willing to make that financial commitment. You can then, when you are uh, collecting your audiobook royalties, just as you do with your other formats, you would then distribute according to your agreement, which might match the split that you have set up in terms of the cost of the audiobooks. We have some publishers who manage things that way. At Pro Audio Voices, we have a publisher program that is designed to keep the budgets low, keep the projects streamlined, and still include Amplify Audiobooks as a part of the package. And I just want to say for publishers that already have some audiobooks, you can get onto Amplify Audiobooks and still take advantage of that aspect of uh, distribution and marketing, uh, even if we don't end up working together as for your audiobook production. But we do offer a really great opportunity for publishers with audiobook production. If that's something you'd like to explore, or if you have other questions, either about Amplify Audiobooks or about the audiobook production process, you can reach out to us at proaudiovoices.com slash get hyphen started. And there's a contact form there, or you can email directly to admin at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thank you. And just a reminder that if this podcast is helpful to you and you can support it, we can be found at patreon.com slash audiobook connection podcast. Thanks so much for spending this time with me. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.